Plenty of good pitching in the AL on Thursday. How's this for starters? Randy Johnson versus Bartolo Colon. A-Rod, glad to see Colon once again. Remember Colon's last start against the Yankees, April 26th. A-Rod, three home runs. Three runs shot in the first, two runs shot in the third, and then a grand slam in the fourth. He also had an RBI single in the sixth. He finished with 10 RBI. So now back to Thursday. Yanks up 1-0. A-Rod. So they Colon, remember me? Number 27 for A-Rod. That's tops in the AL. He's now homered in four straight at-bats against Colon. Yanks up 2-0. Top of the fourth, same score. The demise of Jason Giambi has been greatly exaggerated. That's going off Cologne. Giambi's 14th of the season. Yanks up 3-0. Sixth inning. Now Randy Johnson in a bit of trouble with the bases loaded. Steve Finley, a ground out. They help him out, but that was Johnson's last pitch. Joe Torre pulled him, saying he tweaked his back on the play. Six innings of work, four hits, two earned runs, four Ks for Johnson. Top seven now. After Hideki Matsui went deep, it's Giambi again. His second of the game, 15th of the year, and 10th this month. Bottom seven. Bases loaded. Vlad Guerrero on deck. Joe Torre makes a pitching change. Buddy Groom out. Tom Gordon in to face Guerrero. Vlad in a four for 45 slump. Slump this. Grand slam. His 17th homer of the year, second grand slam of his career. Angels up 6 5. Vlad's digging it. Gordon's hating it. Torrey says, Why did I make the change? And Billy Crystal's a Hollywood guy, but a New York fan. And he didn't like the moment. Top nine. One out, Giambi at the plate, A-Rod on third, Angel still up by one. K-Rod gets Giambi swinging, two outs. Runners on first and third now for Jorge Posada. That's not gonna hurt a bit. Ball game. And the Angels take the first of the four game set, 6-5. Billy may not like this either. Like the Yanks, Boston also facing a first place team. First time the Red and White Sox were paired up as division leaders since 77. Red Sox facing their sixth consecutive left-handed starter for the first time since 1914. There's one through five, number six, all-star starter, Mark Burley, who lasted six, so he's gone in the seventh when David Ortiz hits it off Tadahito Aguchi's glove. Johnny Damon scores from second as the ball gets away, ties it at four. Sox would take the league on a sacrifice fly. In the eighth, Kurt Schilling looking for his second save. But Joe Creedy spoiling it. Double the right center. It'll bring in Aaron Rowan. Blown save number one. Game tied at five. Top nine, the dangerous Manny Ramirez. And this is not so dangerous. A harmless or so it seemed. Pop fly in the foul territory. Joe Creedy dropped it. Took a stab at it, but didn't cover up with the offhand. Two hands. Chicago had three errors. And they would pay. Next pitch, and you're so not catching that either. Creedy would say later, it is humbling. It was Ramirez's 26 home run. You can't give him second chances. So the Sox up 6-5. Bottom nine. Schilling still out there with two outs. Full count on Carl Everett. Got him. Schilling blows the save but gets the win. And the Red Sox back to a game and a half up. Eight degrees and steamy with the Brewers in town Thursday. Jason Marquis melted. Seven earned in four innings. El Caballo. Carlos Lee. RBI number 78 to tie him with Derek Lee and Albert Pools for the National League League. And then it's Russell Brannion. And Brannion just went bunion. Where's Blue? Where's the baseball? 458 feet away off the scoreboard. You can barely see it up there. That ball will carry in the humidity. His ninth of the year. Brewers gain a split of the series, 12-7. Cubs on their way out of the Cincinnati and steamy there as well. Greg Maddox, six strikeout shy of 3,000 against the Reds. Got Adam Dunn swinging there for K number 2,998. The last of his four on the day. Got a no decision for his effort. Bottom seven, 5-4 Cubs. Bases loaded for Rich Aurelia. And Hairston. That could come back as a top player. Really is incredulous. The Cubs still lead at 5-4, but his Reds undaunted in the eighth. Bases jammed for Kearns. He'll bring in two go-ahead runs. 7-5 Reds win at 9-6. They get their 14th comeback win from three or more runs down. That leads the majors. Wednesday night, Washington's LeVon Hernandez hit four batters. He lost to the NL's worst team, Colorado, and dropped a second straight decision for the first time this season. All that apparently made his aching right knee hurt even worse. He said it felt like it would explode. 
while well, Hernandez did explode, threatening to end his season and have surgery. He claimed he didn't sleep at all Wednesday night after the game, but he was feeling better Thursday. And he committed himself to the Nationals for the rest of the season, saying he would pitch every fifth day, even if he has to play in pain. His team losing 7 of 9 no doubt added to Levon's frustration. Hosting the Astros Thursday night, Roy Oswald just hoping for a decision. Gets Jose Guillen in the bottom of the first. Oswald, eight innings of work, six Ks, no runs. 93 pitches, 77 for strikes. And then this in the top of the fifth, he bunts. Carlos Baerga can't handle the throw. Adam Everett scores. So Oswald creating his own run support with his first RBI of the season. one nothing Astros. Three zip now, bottom nine. Brad Lidge facing Preston Wilson. One out, one on, and one gone. Two-run shot makes it interesting. 17 home run for Wilson. It's been a nice addition in D.C. Same inning, same score. Brian Snyder facing Lidge. Long fly ball to right. Jason Lane makes the catch. Astros win it 3-2. And all of a sudden, the Nats have lost six straight one-run games. Kenny Rogers will finally appeal his 20-game suspension Friday in Milwaukee. Thursday in Texas, he made his pitches to the A's. First batter. Jason Kendall right back to Rodgers who went six innings, allowed four runs, but did not get a decision. Wait for his decision Friday. Bottom half of the first, still scoreless. Two on for Alfonso Soriano. Had a big, big night. Got a little lucky there right down the line. It drops. Mark DeShera and Hank Blaylock both score. Texas up 2-0. 3-0 now in the fourth. Two on for DeShera with a deep hit to left. But Jay Payton at the track, into the wall, holds on. Top play nominee, top eight, tied at four. A's with two on for Peyton. Doing it with a stick as well. He was three for five on the day. RBI single gives the A's the lead 5-4. Bottom half of the inning, Rangers down 6-4. Soriano, a home run away from the cycle. Good wood, but Bobby Kelty and Mark Kotze both have a beat on the ball and each other. Watch out, Kotze makes the catch. A's win their ninth and 11 tries. Out five suspensions following Sunday's Royals-Tigers brawl. Pitcher Renovas Hernandez got 10 games for his part in it. The Royals also say manager Buddy Bell will have to sit out one game. It all started when Hernandez beamed Carlos Guillen. Hernandez says he will appeal so he can start Friday against Toronto. All right, all aboard now for the Sports Center Express. It begins with the Twins and the Tigers. Brett Boone, two for five with a pair of RBI this one, and the Twins win it 10-5. Mets and the Padres hooked up in San Diego, and this one was all Mets. 12 zip. Kaz Ishii hits the win. Six innings of work, Noren runs, and three Ks at Chase Stadium, actually. The Dodgers beat the Phillies 1 0. Dallas Perez gets the win. Seven innings of work, Noren runs, and seven Ks. Linda Cohn now and Tim Kirkjian with some cores like cold hard facts. And, and the Rockies already being mutilated. Pirates leading 5 0 in the second inning. Jason Bay. Leaving that park, his 18th of the year, Rockies trailing 7 nothing. not only being mutilated, but also humiliated. He's Canadian. The law may not apply. No, I think it does. Pennsylvania law, person is not eligible to become governor if he or she has participated in a duel. Makes sense. So Zach Duke cannot run for the highest office in the state because he was out dueling the Rockies. Gets mm -hmm. Danny Arduan there, and then pinch hitter Eddie Garabito done as well. Pirates win at 8-1. Duke, seven innings of work. Noren runs 5K. So you see how... All right, you waited all show for him. Here we go. It's Sports Center's top 10 plays. Number 10, Padres and Mets, Cliff Floyd at the plate, but it's not about him. It's about Xavier Nady making the grab. Nice play. Problem was, the Mets crushed him 12 zip. Number nine, Steve Spurrier trying to endear himself to the local media at a local golf tournament. And he goes, oh boy, he's going to Kenny Rogers on them. He's just joking around. The old ball coach, he's a prankster. Number eight. A's and Rangers, Kevin Minch looking for a base hit. Keith Ginter, the diving stop and up in time. Great defensive play, worth another look. A's going to win it 6-4. Number seven, throughout my entire life, I've always heard that the cheetah is the fastest land animal, but who really knows? Well, let's see. Well, the zookeepers put him to the test, paused to a cause, if you will. Some of them actually reach 70 miles per hour. They are fast. Who was pulling that thing? Was that a guy running? I don't know. Number six, Oguchi Anyewu, looking to be a hero in the Gold Cup semis. Goal, 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 goal. Anyewu with the winning goal as the U.S. beats Honduras 2-1. to one. At number five, the Edmonton Eskimos. This has nothing to do with our Alaska stop. This is the CFL. Tony Tompkins returning a kick, makes a little move. Back outside, he'll go 85 yards to house it. 
July football, you gotta love it. Eskimos win by eight. They get those scores up there, 29-21. a lot of running. And speaking of Eskimos, the Indian Eskimo Olympics, this is from Alaska. The weighted ear pulling contest. Mm. And of course, the knuckle hopping contest. <laughs> Number three, A's Rangers. Mark to share it deep to left field, but apparently not deep enough to keep it out of Jay Payton's mitt. Into the wall, came up with the ball strong. Nice play. Hey, we're all about good defense. Dodgers and Phillies, check this out. Line to center field, Repco coming on, coming on. And he made the catch. Jason Repco does it again. Some great defense helped the Dodgers win it one zip. That was pretty good defense. This is great defense because this is number one. Rich Aurelia winds it to right center field. Jerry Hairston protecting a one-run lead. Reds won the game, however, 9-6. That makes it sort of anticlimactic.